In this video, I want us to recap on the if statement in Python. So the if statement is a really, really important uh, statement in any programming language, uh, Python alike. So let's just go through it. Um, so here you go, I have a script already written. Um, I have a variable declared in line three, uh, it's called x and I put it equal to 10. I have another variable in line y, uh, or in line four um, called y, which I put equal to 15. And uh, in line six, I just print out their values just so that we can see them. So in line eight, nine and 10, he here's an example of an if statement. So typically when you're running a program, the computer executes one line after another. It goes in sequence right down, down, down through the file. Uh, an if statement gives you an opportunity to, to branch. So you can say, if something is true, then execute this statement or these statements, otherwise do these statements. So that's what an if statement is about. So here you see that I have an if statement and I'm saying if y is greater than x. So we can see here y is 15 and x is 10. So in, indeed it is, we, I, I know that y is greater than x in this particular example. So if y is greater than x, well then I'm going to change x so that it's, it's, it's five more than y. So I put x equal to y plus five. So this line here, or both of these, this line, this line here, this is only a comment, this line here will only get executed by the computer if y is greater than x. And that's really the point of an if statement. If you want to do something only if something is true. Now my example is a little bit boring. It's sort of just numbers and comparing whether one is bigger than the other. But the same holds true for all types of if statements. And the way you write an if statement is you use the keyword if spelt with small letters. You have some expression then here, something here that evaluates to true or false. So it's typically a logical expression. So it's something that you test and the answer of which is either true or false. Then you have uh, a colon, then like a function you indent and you have the contents of your if statement. So here, as I say, if y is greater than x, I'm going to make x uh, five more, five, I'm gonna put x equal to y plus five. And then I'm going to print out the, uh, the answer, the values of x and y. So we'll hopefully see that x is now changed. Here is another example of an if statement, but there's a little bit more involved in it. This is an if, else if, else statement. So it's going to say, if this bit is true, then this line is going to be executed. Else if this is true, then this is going to be executed. Otherwise, this is going to be executed. So I have three branches. There's three things that could happen. Either this could get executed, this could get executed or this could get executed. So, and only one of those branches will happen. This line here will be executed by Python if y is greater than x. This will be executed only if x is greater than y. And then for all other cases, this would be executed. So what are all other cases? Well, if x was equal to y, for example, well, then this would get executed. So if y is greater than x, I put x equal to y plus five. However, if x is greater than y, I put y equal to x plus five. Otherwise, I put x equal to, I put x equal to x plus hundred, and I put y equal to y plus hundred. Why? It's just demonstrations. I'm just I'm just showing you what can be done. It it doesn't it has no significance really. And then I print out the values of x and y, and we we'll see that in action again in a minute. And then finally. Uh, I have another if statement, and I'm just showing you the logical expression not. So I'm saying if x is not equal to y, well then I will print out uh, print out this. Okay, so let's let's try it and let's see what we get where we started off. So remember, x is 10 and y is 15. Let's press run. So it comes along here. We see look, x is 10 and y is 15. So is y greater than x? Yes, it was. So we change, We should change x to be equal to y plus five. So now when we print it out, you see that x is 20 and y is 15. So we, it did work. It went in here and it changed x to be five more than y. So now x is 20 and y is 15. So it comes along to this if statement and it says, is y greater than x? No, it's not. Y is 15, x is 20, so it shouldn't have gone in here. Is x greater than y? Yes, it is. So it should make y equal to x plus five. So y should become equal to x, which is 20 plus five is 25. 
Um, otherwise, no, it shouldn't have gone in here. So this gets printed out. And indeed, yeah, X is 20 and Y is 25. So this did work. And then finally we say, if X is not equal to Y, um, well, they're not. X is 20 and Y is 25. So this should have been printed out. And indeed it is. X and Y are not the same. Okay, so let's try it when both of them are the same. So let me just stop this program and change this to 10. So now it should come in here and it says, well, is Y greater than X? No, it's not. Is then down here it says Y greater than X? No, it's not. Is X greater than Y? No, it's not. Else, so this time it should fall in here to this else branch and we should see uh, X becoming X plus 100. That's 10 plus 100. So X should become 110 and Y should become 110. And if X is not equal to Y, so this should not be printed out because they are the same. So let's see it. Yep. Look, X is 10 and Y is 10. X is 10 and Y is 10. X is 110 and Y is 110. So again, it's working. So there's our if statements. So just to recap, you use the keyword if. You indentation is really important. This bit here needs to evaluate to true or false. And don't forget your colon. You can, you can write it just as an if. You can have an if else or you can have an if else if else. So here's an example of an, that's an example of an if. Uh, there's an example of an if, else if, else. And notice again, look, L if it's small letters. There is an expression here that has to evaluate to true or false. And we have a colon. And then else, we have no expression, but we have a, uh, we have a colon. The other one that I haven't demonstrated here is, of course, you could have a, just an if and an else, something like this. Else print 10. testing. So here's an example of an if and an else. So you can have an if on its own. There's an example of an if on its own. You can have an if else. There's an example of an if and an else. Or you can have an if, elif, else. You can actually have as many elifs as, as you like. So if you wanted to, this could be also elif x is greater than 100. And then you could do something. Oh, I spelled it wrong, elif. Elif, and I could just print out print x is greater than 100. Oh, than 100. Um, I could have another one if I wanted to. Here you go. I could have a e l i f elif. I don't know. Y is greater than a thousand. Print. Y is huge, and so on and so forth. So you can have as many elifs as you like. Uh, and that's it, that, that their if statements are a really, really important part of uh, programming.